All right, Mr. Satko here, and welcome back to War Game. And we're gonna be checking out the New Israel DLC Nation. And uh, seeing what they have to offer. And they don't really have any kind of coalition, so it's just them. And they have motorized, armored, all that such. I'm gonna check out the units here, see what they got, anything exciting. And just the, the usual CVs. And chopper CV for 100. Good old fob. They have the Rio, which is 800 supply. The Oshkosh at 2400, so basically like a Hemet. And they have the Yazur at 1500 supply. Check out the infantry. They use Stinger missiles and Red Eyes and also Uzis for their anti air. And 2625 meter. ATGM, not too bad. 21 AP power there. And it's just going to be a quick look at most of these units. And some dragon launchers here. And regular units here. Givati. And if I'm pronouncing any of this wrong, well, that probably makes sense because uh, I don't know Israeli too well. Uh, the machine gun, not too bad. 600 rate of fire. And also uses 5.56, five, so their regular gun, meh, machine gun, pretty good. And we have 30 millimeter frag launching troops. And then we have the militia trained units with the blind aside and the FAL. And we have some somewhat cheaper units here with the Phalo. And the FAL. And the 90 version of them uses the FN Mag and the M16. So the troops, pretty pretty good so far. Uh, Special Forces troops use the PKM 83 millimeter heat at 21 AP power, not too bad. And then we have some close range troops here. 9mm in the FN. And some slightly better close range troops with the carbon, carbine, what have you. Support units so far, just some anti air, nothing too crazy here. Dracon, like a hawk. And some mortars. Macmat and the Layash and some MLRS and their regular arty and their big arty with small uh, amounts of ammunition and we have the Shenav which is basically like the Hawk here and the Sholef. One large howitzer, pretty much two howitzers. One for AP rounds, one for HE. That is very interesting indeed. Or perhaps it just fires AP at, yeah, indeed. So it just fires AP at ground units at 14 AP power, and so you really wouldn't be using that on the front lines anyway, but uh, not too bad. So, so their support, nothing too crazy interesting in there. And we'll go to their tanks. And so some of their cheaper tanks, wall frontal armor, 15 AP power. So we have this line of tanks up to 100, 17 frontal armor, 17 AP power. Not a bad tank for its price there. And we have the Merkavas. And starting at the lowest Merkava, 16 frontal armor, 13 AP power for only 65. And that pretty much goes up all the way to the 180 Merkava, which has heat missiles and has 23 AP power and 22 frontal armor. 
So definitely nice for sure there. And we have their super cheap tank, two frontal armor, 10 AP power. That's actually not too bad, uh, 10 AP power. You could sort of mass those if you had to against what have you. And so really just the, the only interesting thing here is really the two end Merkabas here, the 3B and the 3D. The 3D, of course, using the heat missiles, and the 3B uses the 40 millimeter frags, which is very interesting. Still does 20 AP power and still has 21 frontal armor, but still launches frags. So that's actually probably, honestly, probably a better tank to some degree. And some of the recon units here, um, average troops, uh, the HVMS, uh, which could be quite useful. 11 AP power on that, not too bad. Uh, just a patrol with triple machine guns. And some special forces here using ATGMs. And good old recoilless rifle vehicle. And their recon chopper only has very good optics. So their recon, not not that great, because I really like a recon with uh, exceptional optics. And then we have the blazer with 13 AP for only 30. Vehicles here, uh, some tow missiles. Uh, various tow APCs and additional tow. That's 27 AP power, so that is pretty crazy. And then there's the para, and I'm not sure if I'm saying that wrong. And what this is is a tank designed to look like the Merkava, but really it has this pop-up ATGM launcher. And for 110, you get six frontal armor 2,975 ground range and 27 AP power. So this is absolutely brutal. Uh, anything that gets hit by that is pretty much going to get one shot at it, except for maybe a uh, super heavy, and then even then it'll get two shotted. So I think that's sort of a golden unit of the Israelis right now. Um, so nearly 3,000 meters. And 60% accuracy, this is going to be amazing in the game. Make sure you put this in your decks. And, of course, we have the M51 Sherman. And with 105 millimeter and 9 AP power, 3 frontal armor. Uh, so, eh, not too bad, too, I guess, if you wanted to get a couple of those for a push on some troops or whatnot. Helicopters, we're looking at some tow helicopters. Nothing too crazy there, 2800 range, not too bad. The 130 cost with Hellfire missiles and 35 or 30 millimeter rounds, basically an Apache there. And then some, of course, rocket pods. And then the anti-air chopper with rocket pods as well. Their air tab, take a look here. We have a seed. And some better seed. Uh, nothing particularly good about that. Uh, nice that it has some AA missiles and 26 AP power. Not too bad either. Decent range. And we have some anti, uh, some ASF here, and 165 cost. And both with four anti-air missiles, so that could be pretty useful. Uh, the range on it, not the greatest I've seen. Uh, air to ground here, 3,500 with 20 HE. And the 150 cost. And this is just a bomber by the looks of it. Or no, anti-air. That's another ASF here. And I'm just trying to read stats and talk at the same time. Oh, movement and such. Talking is hard. We have a bomber here, 150 cost for 10 500 kilogram bombs. So that could be pretty lethal for sure. That sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, we have some heat rounds here. AP bomber, nothing too special. Air to ground. 
and another ASF. And for the bottom row here, very inexpensive anti-air uh, rocket pod napalm for 100. It just drops uh, five 340 kilogram bombs, so that's not too bad. And then we have one gigantic bomber with a 1,400 kilogram bomb, which sounds like a lot of fun. And... Uh, so that is going to be one massive bomb, 23 AP power. So this is just one gigantic bomb, and uh, that's going to be kind of fun. And what is the North Korean one that drops? Real quick here. Uh, that is a 3,000 kilogram bomb, but uh, it's a much slower aircraft. than the Israeli version. And yeah, this is much more nimble than the B-5. And in their naval tab, not really gonna look at the Navy. I don't think they introduce anything new really to the Navy. It's just gonna be a bunch of the same. So some of the units to look out for, of course, is the Merkava and uh, the 11, 111B. And of course, this is a really good tank in itself. Or other tanks but this is just great for troops uh, this so much armor 21 frontal armor 20 AP power and hucking 40 millimeter frags and uh, the para here is just insane with 2900 range and 27 AP power and uh, that looks like a pretty fun bomber as well it's fairly nimble fairly quick 900 kilometers an hour and actually has ECM I don't think the B uh, the B5 has any ECM so it's a pretty good strategic bomber there. But that is basically Israel in a nutshell there. Most of the units looked at. There are no coalitions for Israel, not that I can see, that include Israel, uh, unlike the recent one with the Dutch-German Corps and all that such. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, quick look at Israel. And uh, I'll see you guys out there on the battlefield and such using Israel. And I'm sure everybody's just going to be hucking mi missiles with the uh, para here very shortly. But uh, until then, I'll see you guys next time.